<clears throat> so the AWA is doing a, the best that they can. It is true that even though they do exclude mice, rats, birds, and particular fish, there is a reason for it. So firstly, they, the 5%, which include chimpanzees, pigs, etc., are more impactful and significant um, in particular mice, it would be too expensive to further regulate considering 95% of the animals are mice. Um, research industry lobbyists succeeded in obtaining a 2002 amendment to the Animal Welfare Act, but It is between 12 billion and 14.5 billion dollars every single year on animal testing. Considering that so many mice can be bred and they have such a short life cycle, it would significantly raise the taxes on people. The scientists are able to study these mice in utero through birth, maturity, old age, and death. To get the same breadth of study in a human life cycle, it would take a very long time. There are lots of mice that can be bred, and they can study many more and get better, more significant results. Mice are mammals, so they have the same body types and functions as humans and are susceptible to the same. Um, animal research had been regulated by the Federal Animal Welfare Act since 1966, as well as stipulating uh, minimum housing standards for research animals. And the AWA also requ requires regular inspections by veterinarians. Um, under the AWA, research institutions are required to establish an institutional animal care and use committee to oversee and evaluate all aspects of the institutions and animal care and use programs. <clears throat> the IACUC responsibility include reviewing the facilities, the animal care and use programs, and inspecting the animal labs at least twice a year, and reviewing or approving disapproving or requiring modifications to research protocols responding to and if necessary um, investigating and acting on any public complaints or facility personnel reports of non-compliance involving animal care and use and submitting evaluations so there are regulations taking place even if they are uh, minimal at the moment the USDA is in the process of developing a, a proposed rule for the creation of regulations to cover rats mice and birds other than, those, other than those bred for research that will govern humane handling, care, treatment, and transportation as ma mandated by the 2002 Farm Bill, which protects all farm animals. Though the vast majority of mice and men are exempt from the definition of animal, which is why they are not considered part of the Welfare Act, <coughs> the USDA estimates at least 5 million um, birds and fish will be covered by this new regulation, and, and soon after, um, mice will be covered as well within the next 10 years. 